in one of the finest and most convenient locations in the west region of Puerto Rico, Marina Pescaderia is located on Puerto Real Bay, Cabo Rojo. Allow me to tell you why this marina is well worth a visit. The marina is a welcoming sight after crossing the turbulent Mona Passage. If you'd like to see footage of our crossing in addition to our passage plan, make sure to watch our video about crossing the Mona Passage. Anyone crossing the waterway from the Dominican Republic to Puerto Rico wants to find the shortest route to relief possible. Marina Pescaderia is the only full-service marina on the west coast and truly is a sight for sore eyes and green passengers. After a bumpy overnight passage, it's always nice to get access to land, and at $1 a foot per night, it won't break the bank. Booking into U.S. Customs and Immigration is relatively easy. The officials will either meet you at the marina, or the marina staff will help you to rent a car, pick up and drop off within the marina itself so you don't have to go anywhere, or offer one of their drivers to take you into town. The docks are stable and secure. The hurricanes of 2017 caused minor damage to the marina considering the rest of the island. By the time we took a berth, all of the 97 slips were secure, the electricity was working perfect, and we could even get Wi-Fi on our boat. The marina also has a pump-out facility in addition to diesel and gasoline with volume discounts. The marina slips are protected with a locked gate. Once you leave the dock and head towards the facilities, You'll find a washing machine and dryer that works great, spacious bathrooms with fantastically pressured warm showers, a restaurant with ample seating area, a fish market, and a mini market, a marine electronics store, and a fishing tackle and bait shop. You'll also find the marina office with Jose, the owner manager. Simon and I cannot say enough about Jose. He let us ship items to the marina before we arrived. He sourced a few boat specialists for us, provided us with a rental car, and got a driver for us to take us to the airport and pick us up. Jose also got us parts from West Marine. He goes down in our books as the best marina manager we have ever met. Outside the marina, there's a small town with residential homes, a few bars and fish restaurants, some grocery stores, and an absolutely incredible bakery. Make sure to order any one of their amazing submarine-style sandwiches and stop by for breakfast too. The value for money is incredible. We found the door to nowhere. Within 20 minutes from the marina, you have access to anything and everything you can imagine. There's a Sam's Club, Walmart, Home Depot, pharmacies, banks, and more. If you like American fast food chains, you'll find them all in Puerto Rico. And if you need something from West Marine, a marine chandlery, you can tell Jose what you need and he'll get it delivered for you. Having all the great American stores makes Puerto Rico a logical place to provision before heading southeast along the Caribbean. We got pasta, paper towels, we got a big thing of coffee, some snack, rice, corn, beans, tomato sauce. Simon's bringing down water and tonic for water for the gin. What else makes Marina Pescaderia a great marina? Well, the bay is calm and the view from the boat is beautiful. From our berth, we had a clear view of the bay and surrounding coastline. We enjoyed watching the sun come up and watching the sun go down. Let me give you some extra information about the marina. Our keel is 2.3 meters or 7 foot 7 inches. When we entered the first set of channel markers, our keel hit something. We entered right in the middle of the channel. On the way out, we stayed closer to the red channel marker and had no issues. When preparing lines for the slip, you'll most likely need two on the stern and then two on the midship cleats with perhaps some spring lines. So two will go back and two will go forward to poles. And then you'll need two lines on the front cleats. So in other words, put at least one line on every cleat and then you might add more. Here we 
just pulled off to the fuel dock. And we just said goodbye to Jose down at the office right there. And that was our slip that we stayed a week in. Highly recommend this place. It's a beautiful location. Thank you, Marina. Thank you, Marina Pescaderia, for, for having, having us. us. You've been fantastic. Yeah. And Jose is the best. He surely is. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Head over to our website to read more about Marina Pescaderia. I wrote an article like I do with all of our videos. So check that out if you want more information. Go to sailingbritican.com. And please make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be traveling all along the south coast of Puerto Rico. I think we make about six or seven stops at Anchorages and one other marina. So if you want to see what sailing along the south coast of Puerto Rico is like and hanging out in the beautiful Anchorages, subscribe now to be notified of our next videos. If you'd like to see videos about sailing, destinations, how-tos, marina reviews, and more, please support our channel by purchasing one of our sailing guides. Join the thousands of people that have already purchased our guides to get information that will save you money, provide practical tips and tricks, in addition to helping you get out and enjoy boating. Or if you're not in the need for helpful how-to information and checklists, buy one of our high-quality nautical t-shirts, beach cover-ups, and other nautical gifts at our Etsy shop. We also have a lovely community of Patreon supporters too, if that's something you're interested in. Links to all of these resources can be found in the description below. These educational and hopefully entertaining videos are made possible by the profits made through our guides, t-shirt sales, and Patreon supporters. To keep them going for free, please support Sailing Britican today.